Good evening, happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath to both of you. Uh, this topic, the, the, the topic of this evening is really interesting. Calling. God is still calling us indeed. So we are here with Joseph Caravale as my classmate in the COE department. And in this evening, we would like to ask some questions to the uh, speaker that really will help us to discover more about this topic. So Joseph, take it out. Once again, good evening everyone and happy Sabbath. So I'm Giselle Carabaglia from the College of Education. So this evening, for this Sabbath, we'll be interviewing one of the speakers, Brother Arnold Famini. And for the first question, I would like to ask that, what are your preparations for this year's week of prayer? Well, at first, I think prayer is key. I think I spend time in prayer, reading the word, how to look at the story in different angles, and how to interpret it in a way that would be relatable to the students. So that would be, I think, spending time in the Lord in prayer and both in God's Word to prepare for this week of prayer. Yes, thank you for pointing out that prayer is very important as we prepare uh, our message uh, to deliver to all the students, faculty, and staff. So for the second one is, what would you say is the most challenging part as one of the uh, speakers for Week of Prayer? I think the most challenging part would be following the same momentum that the speakers, that, that the other speakers have. We know that we have been challenged thus far by the, all the speakers, the previous speakers. So I think the challenge would be, how, that I, how can I be used by the Spirit of God to have the same momentum. So in other words, I should have the same level of surrender to the Lord, that, I'm, that the same, same level that, that the speakers have during their, their presentations. So that would be a challenge. So I should ask the Lord, have I given myself to you? Are there areas in my life that I haven't surrendered to you? So that would I, would I think is the most challenging part. Can I follow the same momentum that the other speakers have? Yes, it's really hard to stay the, the, the momentum or the level from the first session up to the last. But by God's grace, you were able to deliver and inspired most of the students and everyone who listened to the message of the Lord. So for the last questions, what strategies did you utilize to ensure that the key message was understood and remembered by the congregation? Okay, first of all, Make the message practical. We are all students. I'm a student. What I'm talking to, who I'm talking to is a student. So look at it in a student perspective. Number two would be ask from your mentors. So my mentors would be critiquing my manuscript if it's practical enough, it is relevant enough, if it is relatable to the students. So I think that would be some of the tips and strategies that I've used so that in order for my message to be relatable to the students. Yes, thank you, Brother Arnold, for sharing your strategies that it is not uh, the way we delivered our message or the way we prepared. It is not just based on our own, own perspective, but we must look at the student's perspective or for the audience's perspective for them to be relate uh, so that the message will be rela relatable to all of us. So thank you, Brother Arnold, for your time and God bless you. God bless us all. Thank you so much, Pastor, and thank you so much to you as well. And now we want to know the point of view from a student, and he's coming from the College of? College of Theology, sir. College of Theology, really good. Okay, so uh, the topic was saying, what should I do with my life? What should I do in case that I'm lost, right? That's why we want to know from his point of view as a COT student what he thinks. And we are going to have as well as Wanky Lee as the interviewer. Okay, hello, happy Sabbath again. So I will ask you a few questions, okay. Uh, the first one is, what is your reaction after today's topic? For me, it was really wonderful and it's a very timely message. Uh, it reminds me very long time ago when I was just a high school student and then thinking about my future, about, about the course that I'm going to take in college. Then it was a very remindful message for me because uh, you know, I can relate and may I believe many students can relate because they're also uh, struggling about their calling. They're thinking about uh, if their course they're taking right now is really the course that God's planned for them. So I believe it is a very timely message and it is very wonderful. Yeah. yeah, okay, thank you. So the second is how can you apply today's topic 
to your spiritual life? Uh, you know, sometimes we think when uh, a calling is just a one-day experience. No, for me, it's really a day-by-day -day calling. You know, God is always calling each one of us every time, every moment of our lives. God is calling with, of uh, calling of each one of us, and our calling is something that also a fuel in our spiritual life. Then, as a theology student, uh, God always reminds me that without devotional life, without uh, prayer, without uh, reading the Bible, your calling will be lost. You know, calling is something that you should always also. It's like a plant that you should always uh, take care. It, so it will grow and even you're already a pastor, even you're already a professional, God's still calling you, I believe. That's my point. Yeah, so we will pray always. Yeah. So the last one is how will this topic uh, help you in your chosen career? Uh, <laughs> this topic early about the calling of Abraham. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a theology student, it's the same to that our speaker. He is also my classmate, he's my friend. and. Just like how Abraham called, called, God called Abraham, is the same also how God called me. And you know, I'm born, born I'm, I was born Adventist, but I experienced different things, you know, worldly things. But the same to Abraham, no matter how weak we are, no matter our past, no matter uh, our weakness or the talents that we have, God is calling, God called us the same. And uh, he, is, he has a plan for us, no matter what we don't know or his plan. But I believe God has a better plan to each one of us. That's okay, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.